whenever an electrical energy is flowing through any wire or any transmission line okay those lines will be experiencing resistance inductance capacitance as well as conductance now we need to know how these resistance inductance capacitance conductance are related related and what are these units we are going to see now okay so this is the basic concept okay so okay let's see the first one inductance in a transmission line how an inductance okay uh, is coming across in a transmission line let us say where transmission line is a line which transmits the electrical energy from one point to another point okay now let's see how an inductance will be in a transmission line let us say this is a transmission line okay one line where the transmission of the energy is happening from one point to another point so this is one point a and this is b okay transmission of line is happening from one point to another point see when current flows through a wire okay magnetic line of a force are set up, set up around the wire okay and why this magnetic line of force is set up means if you take any material whenever in any material current is flowing means okay there exists a magnetic field okay whenever take any property or in any material if at all there is a material okay if at all there is a magnetic force means there also exists a current okay so these two are related when there is a current there will be magnetic field when there is a magnetic field there will be current you can simply say that there will be two forces existing whenever you are transmitting some sort of energy eppudaina gaani edanna energy in transmit chestunnam ante oka point nunchi oka point ki there will be two fields existing one is electric field one is magnetic field okay remember this point whenever there exists an electric field like current okay there exists a magnetic field okay and whenever there exists a magnetic field in anything there also exists an electric field remember this point okay now whenever a current is flowing through a wire okay magnetic field also is set up around the wire you can see over here suppose a current is flowing like this suppose a current is flowing like this like this okay as the current is flowing from one point to another point there will be a magnetic field experiencing around the line or a wire okay now as the current increases okay the amplitude of this particular uh, field around the wire also expands current increase ayye koddi okay and magnetic field also expands and at a particular point it again collapses okay so similarly whenever the current is flowing through a particular transmission line magnetic field also experiences or um, set up around that particular wire okay and as the current increases the magnetic field also parallelly increases up to a particular point and later it go, it gets collapsed okay at this particular point we are expressing this as inductance okay so this particular situation we are calling it as inductance and the amount of inductance is expressed in micro henrys per unit okay now okay next one is we are seeing the capacitance now let's see what is a capacitance okay the capacitance exists between two transmission lines we already talked about this right whenever there are two poles there will be multiple wires hanging between those two poles so what happens there will be an existing of capacitance okay between any two wires okay so so for every two wires okay there will be an air between them only air air will be acting as a medium between these transmission lines which acts as an dielectric converter okay whenever there is no contact between two 
uh, whenever there is no contact between any two wires or any two lines of an electrical wires okay there exists an capacitance see there exists an capacitance let us say this is one this is one wire and this is second wire this is first wire and this is second wire okay generally if you see it directly uh, the gap between the two wires there won't be anything there will be just air okay so this air acts as a medium okay which experiences a capacitance between any two wires okay so two wires majlo em ledu kabatti there will be a parameter called as capacitance will be acting uh, why because air acts as a dielectric medium that's why there is a capacitance okay between two wires so this capacitance will be expressed in picofarads per unit length gurtu pettukondi line let's take a single transmission line okay see this is a single transmission line suppose this is point a which is providing some energy starting point anamata idi okay this is point b which is receiving the energy okay now this point a is transmitting some 100% of energy what is the expected output at point b what is the expected output point a is providing 100% of energy and this 100% of energy is traveling in this transmission line what is the expected output at point b anyone see what we generally expect whatever you are sending at point a you expect the same energy to be transferred at point b as well okay 100% expect just some but what's happening here the energy is traveling through a transmission line for a far distance so in this case what's happening some energy will be absorbed by this transmission line itself and some energy will be in uh, going in the form of loss that loss can be due to any natural calamity that loss can be due to any breakage in the wire or it can be anything so at the end what we are receiving we may just receive up to we may just receive up to 90% of energy let us say okay 90% of energy what is the loss how much loss is there how much loss is there 10 10% loss is there so we can say that okay there is a resistance in the wire which is opposing 10% of energy as an output so now what's happening this electrical wire or a transmission line is acting as a resistance okay uh, for the source which is incoming okay so manam oka source oka object ed diskuna gaani dantlo inchi oka energy ni transmit chesina appudu em avutadu ante some energy will be absorbed by the object itself or the property itself and some energy will be going as a waste or a loss so at the end what we get what we get is the least or the minimum reduced energy okay so enta takkuva padindo that will be called as our resistance so our transmission line shown in the figure has an electrical resistance along its line it will be showing some sort of resistance it will be opposing the energy which is flowing endukante kodiga absorb chesestundi kodiga emo loss ayipindi so it will be it is in the form of opposing only so this resistance of a transmission line is expressed in ohms per unit length here what we are going to see is an conductance okay so conductance happens between two transmission lines let us consider two transmission lines here okay this is first transmission line and this is second transmission line okay now the figure shows the leakage path as resistance in parallel conducted between two lines okay the insulator acts as a resistor permitting the current pass between two lines okay 
now let us say these two lines are not moving air aim ledu there is no natural calamities okay there will be uh, the lines are in parallel one above the other there is a distance between there is some distance between two lines okay and there is some free air moving between the lines so that we will be experiencing some sort of capacitance adi manam already chusam capacitance lo line aim kadalatledu only air untadi madhyalo so there will be some sort of capacitance experiencing now let us say these lines are very very near or due to something okay the lines are touching each other konni saarlu you might be observing the lines will be touching each other and there will be a formation of sparks okay so transmission lines low whenever due to some uh, something either the lines are very near or ve- even through you because of air even the lines are moving uh, towards each other what happens is some sort of energy of line 1 will be going into line 2 and some sort of energy from line 2 will be going into line 1 okay so what's happening happening is even though they are moving close to each other okay there will be an insulator here okay so this insulator what does it do is it won't allow the maximum energy to move from one wire to another wire deentlo inchoche energy deentlo ke ekku raanivadu deentlo inchoche energy deentlo ke ekku raanivadu that is nothing but it is opposing the flow of current okay between two wires okay so whenever it is opposing the flow of current between the two wires with respect to this thing okay with respect to the insulator between two wires okay it is considered as conductance between two wires it is considered as conductance okay and these conductance resistive conductance or resistance conductance okay between two wires in a transmission lines is considered as mo per unit length 